terrified us. But now we realize that without the dangers, there'd be no wonders. Without the nightmares, there'd be no dreams. Getting a strange sensation. A feeling as though there's something bad out here. A malevolent presence. The one thing we didn't want to encounter. Impossibly black, blotting out the stars behind it. We are staring into the face of extinction. The remains of a giant star. A black hole. Instead of contracting to a white dwarf or a pulsar, it just kept on going. Shrinking until it got so small it's just a few kilometers across. Far denser than a pulsar and impossible to resist. Stray too close, and there's no turning back. Now we know why it's a black hole. Its gravity is so intense, not even light can escape. This asteroid, it's a lump of solid rock, but it's actually stretching, being dragged towards the gaping hole. Inside, there's no matter as we know it. No time, no space. All the rules of physics collapse. The asteroid is gone. Truth is, nobody really knows where. We're looking at the limit of human understanding. There could be millions of black holes creeping around our galaxy. More perhaps than all the stars in the sky. But we wouldn't see them until it was too late. Like this star, spiraling, disappearing down an invisible pug hole. Who's to say we don't live inside a vast black hole? That the whole universe isn't inside one right now, inside another universe. Think about it for too long and your mind reels. Sometimes it feels like the more we see, the less we know. But we do know our galaxy is more complex and more dangerous than we ever imagined. And we're still in our own galaxy the Milky Way. The vastness of the universe beyond still lies ahead. The wonders, the dangers, the secrets, they're out there. But first, we've got to find a way out of the Milky Way. Seven thousand light years from home, still deep inside our own galaxy. It's as though we're in a forest thick with trees, each so beautiful, so fascinating. It's impossible to look beyond, to see the bigger picture. We have to find a way through, reach the clearing at the galaxy's edge. Only then can we begin to understand where it and we all began. But faced with sights like this, it's hard to leave. A colossal glowing cloud topped by these great towers of dust. The pillars of creation. Like a gateway into the far galaxy. Both pillars studded with tiny protrusions. Embryonic star systems. 
each one the size of our solar system. Another monument to nature's astonishing creativity. We have to ignore its captivating beauty, its siren song, tear ourselves away in order to carry onwards towards the edge of the galaxy. Dazzled by the Milky Way's beauty, we've been blinded to its terrors and strayed into a cosmic minefield. Like an explosion in slow motion, giant clouds of gas are bursting out of this star. A massive star, millions of times brighter than our sun. It's going into meltdown. The fuel that sustains it is running out. The nuclear reactions that power it, winding down. We're watching its death throes. Eventually, the core will implode. The result, a new black hole. An even bigger, dangerously unstable star. But this one's about to explode. And when a star this big dies, it's a hundred times more violent than a supernova. Somehow we've stumbled into the most violent star death imaginable. A hypernova. The core's collapsed. It's becoming a black hole. And that's the shockwave, surging through the star, ripping its outer layers into space. There's lethal radiation everywhere, enough to have a catastrophic effect on any planet unlucky enough to be nearby. When virtually every species on Earth was wiped out 450 million years ago, the culprit may have been one of these. Deadly hypernovas, frozen comets, scorched planets, white dwarfs, red giants, Earth. Tiny drops in a vast pool of white light. Our home galaxy. The Milky Way. We wanted to know where we fit in. Here's our answer. Civilizations past and present. Everyone that's ever lived. The smallest bug, the highest mountain, all of it invisible. Not even a tiny speck. Our home is a minor planet of an insignificant star. If it disappeared right now, who or what would even notice? And yet, so far we found nowhere else we would rather live. Nowhere we could live. <laughs> 